these kiosks on either side and there would be an image of the king or the queen smiting an enemy. In Akhenaten's boats, he's accompanied by Nefertiti and a daughter. In Nefertiti's boats, she's accompanied just by a daughter, and that's it. Um, so we find these boats here in Memphis. We find a block from Abydos that has one of these um, boats. We find some in uh, Karnak Temple, one in Karnak Temple. Those are all of Nefertiti's, so they each have four boats. Um, so they each have two boats with smiting kiosks and two boats with kiosks that have trampling sphinxes. But for me, I'm very interested in the smiting ones. And um, so there's also blocks and other images of this in Amarna, obviously. So anyway, um, this is a workshop and it shows them making the smiting kiosks oh, there they are, yeah. here. I like the, I noticed the workshop, I didn't realize that was and nice, but that's what they were making. So Mary Neath, Mary Ray, is the high priest of Aten. He's right here, overseeing the the, um, the bringing of the boat. So, see, so they're crafting it up here, and then they're pulling it to the river. Now, why is the high priest of Aten supervising the construction of the boat? Could it be that this is a ceremonial boat? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Could it and be? My <clears throat> theory is that these boats, like for the in for instance, the block in Abydos, there I is, I think that there was a temple to Aten in Abydos. So we have a block showing mm -hmm. the boat going. At Marna, we have the tomb of Mai, as I showed you, and he has boats with the smiting kiosks. But he works in Heliopolis, so why does he have a harbor if it's supposed to be at Marna if he's working in Heliopolis? And so I think that these are boats that the, um, they created a fleet and they would ride in these boats up and down the river, visiting all of the Aten temples that in some kind cool. of ceremony. Moreover, I think that the smiting kiosks are functioning as temple pylons. Oh, that's an interesting idea. And these kiosks continue into Tutankhamun's reign in the Luxor temple. It mm -hmm. shows the same thing and it's all related to the Apis festival. Mm -hmm. One thing that no one has noticed, except for me apparently, is that the first instance is not in the Amarna period, but in the reign of Amenhotep III, because you can see just a tiny smidgen of a smiting kiosk on his boat that pulls the Uzerhet bark on his third pylon. And no one's talked about this, so That's I cool. think that this is continuing that kind of uh, ceremonial procession, except they don't have Amun as the god anymore, they have the Aten, so you don't need to be pulling a god, or you don't need to be pulling a boat with the god in it because the god's up there. Yeah. So all you need is the, the pylons. The pylons. And so it's a floating temple. That's really cool. That's a cool idea. So the, yeah, the, the Uzerhead bark behind is the sanctuary of the god. And so I, I, that's what my article is about. 